What was it like to break through that glass ceiling when you became the first woman pilot on the Thunderbirds? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a question I, I get asked a, a lot, and it's been 15 years, and my answer has stayed pretty steady over time. Um, you know, I didn't apply to the Thunderbirds to be the first woman um, Thunderbird pilot. In fact, I think it's important to note there were plenty of women who came before me who would have been as good, if not way better than I was, but they weren't afforded the opportunity. Remember, I told you that um, the, it was against the law for a long time, right, for women to become fighter pilots. I was one of the first women fighter pilots. So I was really in that first tranche of women who had the opportunity to apply to be a Thunderbird. I tell people a lot, you know, my life is often about TLC, not tender, loving care, but timing, luck, and circumstance. I was born at the exact time that that law changed. I got the exact number of hours that I needed in order to meet the qualifications to apply. So I want to pay homage to the women in front of me who could have and would have done it had they been given that chance. Um, you know, people ask me a lot, like, did you have any kind of pressure, right? Yeah, sure. There was excitement, um, both within the Air Force and within the media. Um, and I would say 95% of the time, generally speaking, people were absolutely tickled they were fascinated that there was a woman pilot. And so it was often a feel good, you know, type moment. But I did feel pressure that I put on myself. And it was this, I knew what I was doing was um, historic. I knew that I was the first. And with that comes, I think a lot of responsibility. And a pressure I put on myself was I wanted to open the door in a way that the door stayed open. I wanted to open the door in the way that the door stayed open. I was acutely aware that if I messed up, which by the way, some people were rooting for, it's really weird to have people root for you to fail, but that's a story for another time. Um, if I had messed up, I knew that that would impact the woman, the women that were coming behind me. So that pressure was put on myself. Um, and I look back and I go, I think it was okay to pressure to put on myself.